and more likely to be for it to be related to both Obi Wan and Luke would be if Obi Wan and Satine had a child who has a daughter who has Rey with Luke. So that would make Obi Wan Kenobi her great grandfather. There's also a theory that Ezra Bridger and Satine Wren are Rey's parents, but this version of the theory by I believe it was Element Seven has the timeline messed up. It can be either the adopted series that will work with the current information we have at our disposal. Age-wise, it is totally possible for Ezra and Sabine to be raised parents as after the Galactic Civil War, they'll be much more mature. They will be in the 30s as Ezra is only a few days older than Luke and Sabine is one to you years older than, than Ezra. So, in my opinion, Rei must be related to a well-known Force user in the galaxy, with the information we have at hand. The most likely contenders are Luke, Obi-Wan, and Ezra. I have already discussed how Rey could be related to Luke and Obi-Wan, but I now present how Rey could be related to both Ezra and Obi-Wan. For Rey to be related to Obi-Wan and Ezra would be if... Obi-Wan and Satine have a child who has a daughter being Sabine who has Rey with Ezra. So far I left out the gender of the child between Obi-Wan and Satine which is because I have a theory on to who that exactly could be. That child is Koki Krizo, the nephew in quotation, in quotes of Satine. In Star Wars The Clone Wars we are introduced to Koki as Satine's nephew but we are never introduced to his parents. The obvious choice would be Bulk Tin Crystal, Satine's sister, but in season 5 they meet on screen and he does not address her as mother or any other way a person typically addresses the mother. In fact, based on what we've seen in the clones, Koki seems to have been raised by his aunt, in, qu in quotes, Satine. But what if Koki was actually Satine's and Obi-Wan's son? This is not a new theory, other people in the commun in the fan community have thought of this, but I'm going to be going to how more into how this could be the case. We know that there was a romance between Obi Wan and Satine when Qui Gon and, uh, Qui -Gon and Obi Wan are, were on a mission to Manila to protect Satine, kind of like how Anakin and Obi Wan were on a mission to protect Padme, and we saw how that went. This. All would happen during when I'm kind of considering civil for for the control of Mandalore. You know, between the new Mandalorians, the the predecessors to the Death Watch, and probably some other factions as well. We this timeline has barely actually has been only passingly mentioned in the Clone Wars, so we don't know what happened, and I would love to find out. Maybe they could do an anthology movie. So Satine probably has at least one sibling who supported her during the conflict. I am predicting a sister who dies during the conflict before her child can be born. And with the child not even with not surviving. Satine then will pass Koki off as the child of her dead sister in order for her to lead Mandalore away from its warrior past without being affected by a scandal. And I think having a child with a Jedi would be scandalous enough for Jedi and not supposed to marry and and even if she says does not reveal the father that's gonna make it pretty weird. So if Satine's unnamed sister has it was was gonna have a child but dies and so does the child and so does so does you know Satine's brother in law. And so she says so and they were, you know, gonna be born around the same time. So Satine will claim that Koki is the child who survived, when in fact it's really her child. I feel like th this sounds very Shakespearean, and I feel like I feel like it could have happened in some other in another movie franchise or TV show. It sounds familiar. Maybe that's why I think it, it could work. Okay, so well, okay. In addition, she she does not tell Obi Wan one about him to protect. Obi-Wan's face in Jedi Order, which we know she does care about his place. It's her character. 
I do have a belief that she still raises Koki since she seems to deeply care about him and vice versa. I, so obviously she raised Koki as her nephew rather than her son, but I still think she was the parent figure. Even if le in the legal sense, then she was only his aunt. Kind of kind of, but back to the scene right here. Some of my assumptions may be proven false when we learn more about the I mean, Sabine's family in season three of Star Wars: The Boys, which we will know. We know we're gonna meet Sabine's mother, so this it could end up being interesting. But until that point, we have to speculate about the. Sabine's family. Man, it's very easy to confuse Sabine and Satine. Does that suggest a link? That make up your mind? Let me know if you think there is in the comments. One letter difference. Sabine S A B I N E Satine S A T I N E. Let me know if you think that's more than a coincidence. But back to the theory at hand. We do know for sure that Sabine's mother is supportive of the Empire, and then the Empire had done something to hurt Sabine's family. Whether S Sabine's father is Koki Kuzo or not, in my opinion, Sabine, Sabine took on her mother's last maiden name. I'm not sure what the Mandalorian culture uses, but, but this is what I'm going with. Due to either a cultural tradition or personal preference, I'm thinking could be cultural tradition for some reason. I don't know, we don't know enough about, about, um, about Mandalorian culture in canon to make a good assumption. But I think that's likely. No. Yeah. Could even be that, I don't know, the Empire said, do you take the mother's last name for this cultural reason. But in season two, she said she identified her as part of Clan Ren of House Visa, so that makes me think, th like, no, when, when Satine was killed off, that ca that kind of ended that that her house and the clan of the clan of her family, the, the Crystal Clan, Clan Crystal. So I think that could be almost why she might be part of her mother, be part of Clan Ren with her mother. Could be, but I predict. That the Empire and the violence are made that we saw in the clones and probably even made the surface re in Hat because we know the surface is not, not the best in order to better win over the population. Because in this mid series trailer, we do see the surface is a planet. Some people think it's Mandal and some people say it's Karlak. But what if it is Mandal that has been restored to being the surface in Hat so they don't have to lim live in those dome cities? That would definitely help the Empire to win over the population, saying, Hey, we made your surface livable again. And that would probably win a lot of people over, and I think that would, think it will include Sabine's mother, who I also predict was against Maul's rule over Mandalore, otherwise she would never have met up with, with Koki and started a relationship. And that, yeah. And so that was, and that's around the time when Sabine was born a few months later after that. So, it would work. Though so Koki, I don't think, would be a full supporter of the Empire. And when Sabine was in the Imperial Academy on Mineral, as we learned in Season 2 of Star Wars Rebels, I predict that he spoke out and was silenced, most likely being killed or just disappearing. And was the catalyst for Sabine leaving the Academy, which we know she did. Mother, I believe, he remained loyal. I originally planned to talk just about who Ray's parents could be, but I felt that the need, but I also felt the need to discuss the lineage of her potential parents as well. In conclusion, I believe that Luke will be Ray's father to a yet known mother. Potentially being related to Obi Wan Kenobi, but I am not discounting the possibility of being of Rey being related to Ezra and Sabine with the chance of an Obi Wan.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to my channel for future content, and feel free to check out all my previous videos. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. Links are in the description below. Support me on Patreon, link in the description. And feel free to check out my Google site, where you can leave suggestions of what you'd like me to cover, and ask me any questions that I'll put in the Q&A. Link in the description below. Have a good day, good night, wherever you are, have a good one.